Okay, hi guys, welcome back to this new lecture. Okay, let's suppose that we have our cluster and I would like to increase the number of replicas. Okay, let's let me show you the my cluster right now. In this cluster, plasma cluster, I have a fixed node. Okay, six nodes uh, within my cluster. And uh, as you can see here, we can view the default configuration that has been uh, uh, ongoing in my cluster. Okay, I have a uh, no default, but uh, the actual configuration okay, that I have in my other cluster, cluster right now. I have uh, two types of networks. Okay, I have, as you can see it here. We have the public uh, networks. We have also the OSD replication network. Okay, right now in the for the self cluster. Yeah. Okay, so I would like to perform some updates in this cluster. As you can see, we have three replica by default uh, for each pool that will be created in my that will be created in my cluster. Let's suppose that I will increase the number of replica from three. I want to increase it uh, to six. Very it is big enough, but uh, I suppose that I don't care about uh, performance. Uh, I have a sufficient uh, storage capacity, but I would like uh, to have uh, a residency about uh, the replica or the number of replica with my cluster. Okay, so I would like to have six replica. Okay, so what I would like, uh, not what I have to do is to, to, to increase uh, this number on the actual pool or on the pool that are, are ongoing productions. Because uh, for the next pool, next pools, we can have uh, update this value easily, but for the existing pool, which is already in production, I have to show you how to, to do it very easily. Okay. Very easy to do it. Let me show it to you. Let's go to do that. I will go back. We will go in console. I will connect on my uh, first uh, monitor. Okay, very first monitor note. I will connect on it to uh, SFH. And um, to show you that, I will also launch a ping, a continuous ping to a, a VM or a node which, uh, which is in within my cluster. It is this uh, particular VM, VM. Okay, to show you that uh, during this action, so you will not have any downtime during this action within our cluster. Okay, so it is this node, this VM, yeah, what I have right now here. Okay. You can see also the console the VM, so the IP address. Great. So from there, let me uh, show you how, what are the different uh, pools that I have in my cluster. We can do it from the graphical interface, so we can do it all to the console also. Okay, we will come myself with the LS pool. Okay, right. uh, at the moment I have uh, two pools, the default pool, or pool, it's not a, it's the data pool, it will be this one for instance, okay, that I created. Uh, Proxmox also have another uh, command, okay, for the administration of your cluster. If you have a you would like to use the, the Proxmox command to administrate your, your cluster, it's possible. Okay, so what command, for instance, for, for list pool, we have a PV, PVE, a self for pool, uh, LS for pool list, okay, to list all pools that I have with my cluster. Where is that? And the, the magic issue. What is very interesting with this commander, okay, it will really show you all the, the, the main information about each pool. For instance, I have the size of a replica, okay, the minimum size of replica. This means that if I, if I have one uh, node, uh, one node, for instance, uh, which is uh, ongoing and live in my cluster, uh, the client will not be able to, to write uh, in this uh, uh, particular pool. I should, need, I should have at least uh, three nodes, okay, two replicas uh, uh, available to be able to, to let the uh, customer or clients to be VMs and so on to be able to read, write in this uh, particular uh, pool, simply, okay. So this is it. And uh, what things I can show you, uh, mm, within this pool, I have my, uh, my VM at the moment, okay. I data we are ongoing, I have only one pool. So this pool, this VM for instance has been created within this pool. You can see here for instance. I have a, 
So one of pools at the moment, VMs, but I can create, I will create after another pool, okay? So let me make the, the story very brief. Let's go ahead. I will show you all the pages that I have, that I have with my cluster, okay? You can see self PG dump. Here is all PG that I have on all pools, okay? Here you can see I can have, I have two, two pools. I have the, uh, the PGs for this pool and the PG for, for this pool also, okay? So if I would like to see only uh, PGs for the specific pool here, it is a pool one, so this, it is this pool one, okay? This means that I would like to see the PGs of this particular uh, pool, this one, okay? I want to see only the PGs of this one. Okay? So as you can see, I have, I have three replicas, I told you uh, uh, already, and I would, I would like to increase the number of replicas, okay? So we have to know that by default, the failure domain of any pool by default is on a host level, okay? So this means that uh, each replica has been stored on a different node of the, cl in the cluster. For instance, uh, this uh, uh, OSD ID, for instance, is uh, is uh, you can check uh, where and which node it is right now. I can say self uh, OSD three. Okay. I can use that of the OSD or OSD or eight, for instance, uh, is uh, on the host D. Okay. And you see that, let, let me, it's very simple. Here we have uh, this uh, OSD4, okay, is on this particular node, okay. And uh, this uh, OSD8 uh, is on this particular host. And uh, this one OSD0 is on this uh, host also. This means that uh, SEP has uh, distributed the different uh, data across uh, different uh, hosts. Just because uh, by default, uh, by design, by default, uh, when you store data and uh, you don't tell anything to sell for, uh, by default, the failure domain will be at host level. Okay, that means that the data will be on the different host by default. Okay, but you can change this behavior. You can say that hey, I don't want my data to be on host uh, on different host by default, but I want that to, I want them to be on the on the on, at host level. This means that if you change this behavior, it is very dangerous, but you can do it. This means that at one time, so you can have some data which you, which are on the same host. At one time, okay. And this, if this host is down, you, you lose your data permanently uh, until you uh, this uh, uh, this node is not recovered, okay. So we have to be careful with that that last point, okay. In in our case today, what I have to do, I will we have to change this number of replica. I will take it from from three to six, okay. Very easy. Uh, we can do it. Let's do that. We can do it on the Proximal native command. Okay, so I see that the PV, uh, PVE self of pool set the name of pool. Okay, the minimum size. Okay, so that means that uh, how many uh, replica have at least to permit uh, to the client to be able to write uh, that in use Microsoft. Okay, and as I can say, out of my target uh, replica, which is six, six, I need six uh, replica in the cluster. In the cluster. Really? So I have to put a six and you see what will happen right now. Okay, so let me call back the pages view. You see, now set is creating the different uh, replicas on the different, as you can see, we, we go from three to six OS different OSD that has been uh, uh, choose right now and of the different uh, Pages also will be redistributed on those uh, those new OSDs. Okay, it's very simple. Very simply, uh, let me just watch. watch. Yeah. So now the reaction is still going. Okay. And uh, we just have to wait. Okay. 
just have to wait and we'll see. We have this is ongoing. And uh, let me show you the dashboard also, uh, or the set of uh, stitches. It seems that uh, something is happening on the, uh, in Darwin, in the cluster, right now. And uh, this is really this case still. And uh, let me show what happened to still my data. Uh, my workload is still ongoing. Uh, nothing bad is happening to the workload. The client, uh, during this moment, of the client or customer will still be able to write out to the cluster, OK? With no issue, okay. Very possible, and uh, let me uh, show you what it says. The status of the of the software is degraded. Uh, it's uh, degraded. Sorry for pronunciation, but okay. So right now, but uh, still, this cluster will be recovered uh, gracefully. We have uh, this uh, status. Okay. So you just have you have just to wait. When you do that, you, you just have to, to cross your fingers and wait till this action will be done slowly, step by step. Steph, Steph will be uh, able to recover itself and uh, align it, uh, itself from the new configuration. Just wait a moment. I don't want to uh, take time to uh, to explain all this one, but it's very important to understand that that is not the, not the purpose of this course today, or this uh, video today. That, uh, that's what it's up. Uh, yeah, now let me show, see also the status. Right now, the health is okay. This means that of the new uh, the new configuration of this particular course so, has uh, been updated by a lower set. A list again mm, what am I going to show you okay so, uh, you can see that of the green mean size uh, and the size of replica the different Full replica size has been updated, okay, uh, to three to fix, okay. So that is the, that is the very interesting, and uh, this is how you can proceed uh, to improve uh, to update the number of replica in your cluster. And uh, be careful also here. I've uh, go from three to six. So this means that uh, each data should be stored on a different host. Here uh, I say I, I want to have three six replica. Because I have at least six nodes or six hosts for this Microsoft, so I don't have any issue. For me, it's not a big deal for me to do that. Okay, and uh, as you can see here, if I take this uh, this PG for instance, one is on uh, on the USD four, which USD is on this host, and another the eight is on the USD uh, on the host this one. And uh, the zero OZ, the OZ, the ID zero is in this host. Spiver is uh, under this particular host. Okay. And uh, we have also three and uh, so on. Okay. So I also can see. So this is how it can happen to your current configuration. And uh, if you want to create uh, the, another pool with uh, a specific uh, parameter, it is also uh, possible. Okay, if you want to create new pool, so we have uh, specific information, it will really be also uh, definitively possible. Okay. So let me show you how to create new pool with a number of replica already set. You can do that also. Here we have the PVSF pool create volumes. The, the name of the pool is a volume, so the, the type of application that's supposed to which you will be supposed to, to write in this pool log, it will be RBD, okay? Because that three types of, of, of data, of, of um, yes, so of data, we will accept. We have RBD, we have FS, we have also the RGW objects types, okay? And uh, this is it. And um, for the number of pages, you can specify the number of pages. 
32 for this hard I have a very tiny air cluster and the 32 is very easy now don't don't have to go uh, much uh, over this number okay so this is it and uh, that's you have to know that the first node here the first OSD is of your primary OSD okay so you have to be sure that uh, the first, this first OSD is very uh, fast, but if you don't care about performance, so you, don't, you don't have to care about this one. Okay. So this is it. Let me create all my new code. Yeah, okay, simply. And uh, if I say, let me pull back this command, uh, well, let's simply. As you can see, and if I can, if I didn't specify the number of uh, uh, replica, the default parameter will be taken uh, account, with, which are the default parameter which is with my cursor will be taken account of for the number of replica. Let me show you for one for instance. So the different parameter parameter will be prior to uh, in my pool, okay, which will be the different size of replica is of three. Okay, simply as you can see here. Template. Let me decrease this one and we we'll we'll show what and it is it is the whole for this video. I hope that all you will you enjoy a lot. Okay. And uh, if you have uh, some question, don't hesitate to to comment. Okay. Okay. So this is it. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, see you for the next uh, for the next lecture. Okay, and uh, bye from now. And take care, and do not forget to to comment or like and share this video. This will help. This help us very a lot to create much more content like that. Bye from now, and take care.